On Tuesday, CIA Director Gina Haspel briefed a handful of senators about what the CIA knows about the murder of journalist Jamal Khashoggi at the hands of Saudi Arabia. And the people who walked out of that meeting, including the hardcore Trump supporters, said that, yep, we have no doubt that Saudi Arabia, uh, Prince Mohammed bin Salman, MBS, that he murdered that journalist or had him murdered. That's coming from Lindsey Graham. That's coming from Bob Corker. And Lindsey Graham, as we all know, has been a hardcore Trump supporter ever since his buddy John McCain passed away. Uh, so for him to come out and say that, yeah, there's no smoking gun, there's a smoking saw after speaking with the CIA director, that kind of tells us everything we need to know about what actually happened. But here's another interesting little nugget to go along with this story. Last week, you had Defense Secretary James Mattis and Secretary of State Mike Pompeo of the Trump administration telling the media, telling Congress, telling senators that, hey, there's really not enough evidence to say that, uh, you know, MBS was actually involved in this. Uh, uh, you know, it's just a little too muddy right now. We're not 100% sure. You had Trump even before that saying, hey, you know, uh, we don't know exactly what happened. Maybe, maybe they were involved. We can't say, but they buy a lot of weapons from us. So we really, you know, is it worth risking that relationship? And as I said then, yeah, it is. It is worth ending that relationship. Uh, even without the murder, it was worth ending that relationship because that seems to be the only thing that Saudi Arabia can do well, murder people. But we know based on CIA intelligence and what these Republicans are coming out and telling us now, there is no doubt whatsoever that Prince Mohammed bin Salman had this journalist, Jamal Khashoggi, murdered. In fact, Bob Cor uh, Corker actually said, uh, if the crown prince was put on trial, he'd be convicted by a jury in 30 minutes. That must have been some powerful, compelling evidence that Gina Haspel showed those senators yesterday. Is this administration going to do anything about it? Absolutely not. Even though this new account from these Republicans, from Gina Haspel, completely contradicts everything they've said, they won't do anything. Because again, as Trump has pointed out, not only do they buy a lot of weapons from us, but they buy a lot of condos and apartments from him. To the tune of, I think, about 40 to $50 million they've spent on Trump properties. So why in the world would we expect this man who only cares about money to take this issue seriously and punish Saudi Arabia accordingly? But let's go back in time a minute because it's not just Donald Trump. Barack Obama tried to protect Saudi Arabia from being sued for their uh, uh, providing the hijackers for 9-11. George W. Bush, how we saw him kneel down, kiss and hold hands uh, with the Saudi royal family for eight years. They were 100% in bed with them because of their oil. And here's the kicker, folks. We don't even get most of our oil from Saudi Arabia. Most of it comes from the North and the South, Canada and Mexico. That's where most US oil comes from. Our two neighbors, the two neighbors that Donald Trump can't seem to stop fighting with. And yet we're supposed to protect this brutal dictatorship. It's not a royal family, it's a dictatorship over there in Saudi, uh, Saudi Arabia. It's a fascist regime. They're out there killing children in Yemen, killing their own citizens. They killed this journalist and the administration is turning a blind eye towards it because one, they feed our military industrial complex and they give our defense contractors billions of dollars. And two, they're also not shy about putting tens of millions of dollars into Donald Trump's pocket by buying his properties. As long as those two things continue, we will never see the United States stand up to Saudi Arabia.